piss, shit, dirty bodies. These are the types of things that go in to the bathroom and you come out without them, which means bathrooms can get a little nasty. In today's video, we're gonna clean a bathroom. Uh, it's my sister's bathroom. I'm staying at her place right now. She works a real job and I have way too much free time because I don't. So I'm gonna just do a little cleaning. I'm gonna film a reaction at the end like a Mr. Beast video. Just kidding, I'm not gonna do that. First things first, this bathroom has pretty poor lighting as you can probably see. So we're gonna use this giant ring well it's kind of like a ring light it's like a the other type of ring that goes upwards we're going to use it to illuminate the place three two one who goes there looking gandalf ass TikTok light we're doing the shower first because it's it's real juicy for any clean clean content heads out there you'll like this one i don't quite have a topic for today's video yet but maybe we'll figure one out as we go along but if you got some stuff going on in your bathroom and you want to clean it why not join in with me oh i forgot i do have some Rubber gloves here. To any climate heads in the audience that are worried about this, don't worry. I'm not gonna pollute the earth with these. I'm not gonna th throw them out my car window. I'm gonna microwave them so they go away forever. My sister lives, ah, in a humid climate. So the satisfying thing about today's clean is that there's some mold going on. We love a little mold, don't we folks? I don't get why everyone's always tripping about showing your feet on the internet. It's like such a big deal. People are like, don't do it, man. You free for free, really? And it's like, bro, if people were into that into feet, man, just just take it. I don't give a fuck. I'm not starting a foot OF. I wanna make sure I ask my sister if I can post this beforehand. But if anyone's judging for having a dirty place, get a damn job. Because <laughs> if you got a job, you know how hard it is to keep shit tidy. Anyways, here's the cleaning supplies of choice today. There's the soapy water, sponge, dish soap, uh, and this is disinfectant spray. Put these right here. Trash bag is for trash. La 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 So you can tell the human climate, look at the rust. Rust is one of those things where it's like, stop, just stop that, you know? Chill the fuck out. Rust is just metal having anxiety. Just get into the damn therapist's office, man. Get on that damn Xanax, brother. It's not just the warm climate that causes kind of mold. There's also no fan in this bathroom. And normally that's no problem because they just keep the window open, but they got a dog and the dog will climb out the window because he's a little silly guy. So adjustments are being made. But until then, you know, what are you gonna do, you know? I believe it would actually be a lot more efficient if I just filmed this with my phone. Because this new camera I got, I like it. Um, It's really compact, it's really chill, but it's definitely a sacrifice in quality in iPhones these days, man. This tech these days, they be putting all this shit in this tech these days, these damn phones, man. Got a thousand out down, man. Snapchat, man, we got damn. I don't know if dish soap is actually the best thing to use in a bathroom, but honestly, fuck it. I'm doing this out of the kindness of my heart for your audio experience. I'd be butt naked, running the shower, scrubbing away if I wasn't in such a damn content demon. I feel a lot like Mother Teresa right now, doing these sort of tasks for my family. Doing them out of sheer love and with no ulterior financial motive. I'm such a good person. Maybe something we could talk about is um, the therapeutic power of cleaning. I haven't read the literature or the existing literature as in watching YouTube videos. I haven't read that. For me, any task, any simple task where you focus on it, try to focus on it, or where you Tried to in the past, but now you have Vivan, so you can focus on it. Any task like that has the opportunity and the likelihood of being um, therapeutic. You're not repressing anything, you know? You're not shoving things into the back of the mind. You're just taking your mind and pointing it in another direction for a little while. For me, uh, today I was crying about an hour ago because I got some bad news that maybe I'll talk about. Maybe I won't at some point. If I talk about it right now, it's going to make me cry. But And that's not toxic masculinity. That's just me having tasks like in Among Us. I have a task right now. Yeah, actually, I think do we need to run the shower for a sec so that this is not just mold water. Need a sprayer, don't have a sprayer. Similarly to how a walk is, you know, or even like, I don't know, playing League, it's embarrassing, but that has a therapeutic measure because you're just focusing on the game. If you mute all that is, if you mute everybody and don't listen to what they sang, if you ignore your jungler's pings when we see the enemy jungler on vision for 30 seconds before they gank you and kill you, that's actually a lot like better health, if you think about it. Meditation is just holding your attention onto something and not letting the thoughts enter in. My therapist the other day reminded me that all you can just do two minutes of meditation a day and there's studies that say it's it helps. I didn't fact check the studies, but I know the studies on meditation generally are clear that that shit helps out. But again, you don't have to get a fucking app to meditate. You just, you just get, get a sponge, go in your bathroom and go ape shit for a little bit. To me, that's what it seems like to me. One of my prior videos talking about laziness um, and success on YouTube, I got a little pushback from y'all, which I appreciate. You know, I always want you to check me if I'm on some bullshit or if I'm just lacking in some perspective, you know. Critiques came from both sides. One side, the more prominent side, talks about how laziness 
isn't really a thing. It's a capitalist construct. We're not meant to work on the terms that we are currently working in the world today. And laziness as a term uh, implies some moral elements to your lack of capital success or ability to orient your life in a way that produces a capital production outcome. I wish this was picking up the details. It's so juicy. Along with that critique came the notion that, you know, laziness, what you're describing is actually just ADHD, inability to complete tasks, hyperfixations, and such and such. And I somewhat agree with both of those things. I probably didn't go in depth far enough on capitalism's effects on energy and time spent and how it actually doesn't really align with our human nature. I mean, additionally, you know, I have ADHD and I feel like I talk about it quite often. So I think I just overlooked the fact that, yeah, and maybe literally just changing the title and substituting laziness or ADHD would have had a positive effect. It probably would have. I think that's fair. Someone recommended a book called Laziness Does Not Exist. Haven't read it yet. I started it. Didn't really get that far. By that I mean I just opened the PDF. Refilling this water now because it's a little dirty. I haven't read the book yet so I'm not going to put arguments in the mouth. They may address this. They probably do. But the immediate layman's counter argument to that is what Laziness doesn't exist. What? Old claim. I know a lot of lazy people. I know I'm lazy a lot of times. There's one comment I really liked. I'll try and show these on the screen, but the comment basically said, we should dissuade the use of laziness as a moralistic term. And laziness is, of course, weaponized by capitalism to shame you into participating in uh, production. To increase your output, to increase your bottom line. I don't know if it's bottom line or top line. I don't know if I'm running my business as a bottom or a top. God, dude, this mold is so juicy. I need to be wearing a mask, but I just, I need to be close to it and taste it with my lips. So I got sidetracked, but the second part of that person's comment, it was something to the effect of we can't write off all forms of laziness because that creates certain complacency. And if you're attempting to partake in a political project and just pure laziness or inefficiency, that doesn't work. You, blaming capitalism is almost always valid, but it's also like, you know, most of us know that already. What are you going to do about it? It's telling the line between understanding the material conditions of the world and how we need to enact change to improve them but also that we need to have empathy for the effects of those material conditions. I probably should have started with this. Just spray this stuff down, kill any germs so the mold doesn't start growing inside me like it's the last, the last of this stuff us. I don't know if this is actually good or what, yeah. I'm gonna get a lot of comments from people like you actually just gave yourselves as molestus. With this channel, I'm hoping to sort of articulate some form of resolve to that tension. Oof, this smells like poison. I need to wait a sec. I read an essay recently called Laziness is not a moral virtue. I like the essay. It's breaching on points that I think are um, some things I've been marinating on, marinating on. But the prescriptive advice, as is always in like a leftist help, self-help space, is very simple. It's very basic. I think theirs was like, go for a walk. And we know this is the case. You know, these are things where, oh, I know walks help my mental health. I should do them more. But that problem, I don't think, gets alleviated by talking about it in a think piece, uh, like once a year, you know, outlining prescriptions that are, you know, fundamentally basic, but tying them to more incentivized structures. That's good. It's important. But I feel like there needs to be something more consistent, you know? I don't mean to just project onto other people the fact that I have a self-help channel and that they don't, but they talk about self-help. Like, I'm not trying to do that. Like I said, I like that article. I think it's important. It's an article I could not have written. One thing I really liked about it was a sort of mention of this trend, of this seeming trend of the world's overwhelming, the world is fucked, so I'm just not gonna do anything. Like ex self-care extremism or something, which generally when I see that from like prominent speakers, the vibe is not, I'm not doing anything. It's that shit's really fucked and I really need to focus on my mental health right now. And that's valid, but I don't want to act like people don't take that into the extreme or take that the wrong way, but I'm sure they do, you know, as with all ideological uh, prescriptions or definitions or whatever issue you're feeling like today. Water refill. As with all those prescriptions, there's an opportunity to have them bastardized, weaponized, and used by people for, you know, petty disputes and petty disputes. I don't know how that would relate to it. I just watched one dime's video on uh, the Chinese cultural revolution. So that's how I'm thinking about it in terms of the bastardization of theory for personal aims. But I mean, it's, I guess, kind of similar, right? Anti-capitalist self-care rhetoric being subsumed into capitalism as a form of like nihilism, I guess. I don't know. The other consideration here is maybe I'm overplaying the prevalence of that kind of ideology. I could see how what I'm saying here comes off as sort of validating right-wing talking points, right? Like, the left is just a bunch of lazy welfare go goobers. It's like, no, that's not what I'm saying. It's, it's more of a internal disagreement with how 
like socialists uh, talk about stuff like that. Nah. So I don't know, man. I don't really know what the answer is, if there is an answer. I like this channel a lot because I'm able to brainstorm solutions and ideas in the comments, and I really do uh, quite like that. Okay, so I'm going to start the shower. Hopefully you can still hear me. I'm just going to clean sponge all this stuff. I'm not capturing any of this. I'm getting water on my camera. We're learning and growing. Kind of like a young Roger Deakins. Hey, I'm nearly done. I'm just gonna click finish this up. Oh, it's so great. It's so delicious. One of my favorite things I love doing is for the soaps and the things that are for cleaning, they all get dirty. So I like cleaning those real good. And then when you use them, they're clean so there's no residue of... I don't think you can see it, but it's just like a shampoo bottle that's got some stuff on the bottom. That's like a top 10 watch mojo cleaning moments in history. For me, titles for this video, I was thinking, improve yourself so you can improve the world. I'm along those lines. Who knows why? I always wanted to start a cleaning channel, Matt. There was a period of time where I really wanted to start a cleaning channel. I was watching this like Swedish lady, Ari Katarina or whatever. It's like satisfying cleaning content, but also she goes to people's houses and cleans for free. It's not really for free because she makes I'm assuming probably hundreds of thousands of dollars each month. These videos do very well. They're all sponsored and the sponsorships, I assume the turnover rate is quite crazy because the entire time she's deliciously cleaning and motivating people to clean, she's using a scrub daddy. It's a little different than pulling out a dildo in a video about a TikToker. It's like, what's the correlation, you know? I'm actually going to remove all this stuff, take it to the sink where we'll clean it up there should also let me clean the floor of this really good. <laughs> totally lost my train of thought. What were we talking about? A little clean PlayStation here. God, I hope Mick doesn't watch this and see that I'm just fucking rearranging this room's guts. The lifestyle content algorithm is really weird. A video will randomly go super viral and then the next video will get a thousand views. There's one example. It's this video from a guy called Kev So Liddy, I think. And the title's like Life is Hard or Life is Pain and he's in his car and he might be crying. Might have a half a million views or something. And then Kev's other videos just get a couple thousand. And that's no shade to him. It's just like an observation about lifestyle content algorithms. Just really random video pushed to the algorithm of people that are maybe feeling down. Or maybe just the average person. And well, I guess the average person is feeling down. But my instinct with videos is to just always find a niche. And make content for a specific audience. Uh, not just people. I guess some people make it work though. You know, there's a lot of channels that just do this type of shit and they find the right niche. They're just talking and yap, 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 yap. Madeline RG or RG. She's sort of a yapper like me. Life stories. Talking about her life, her personal life. Sitting in a car, just chatting, yapping. That's, I do that basically. She started off with a pretty huge TikTok following, right? But as I've talked about before, it kind of rarely translates into consistent YouTube viewers. But she did it. Shout out. Congrats. All right, here we go. Time lapse. Maybe. Skincare stuff. Put it all together. Whoops, I forgot to film myself putting them back in the shower, but there we go. Y'all can see that, right? You can see how dirty it is. The final scrub, so they say. Change yourself so you can change the world. I actually think that title's bad because it implies that you can't improve the world until you've improved yourself. That's literally Jordan Peterson shit. I, I take it back. Reverse men in black, memory wipe, uh, cha-ching, there you go. And the majority of the mess now is just my feet. It's more like improve yourself, take care of yourself so you can take care of the world, maybe? Take care of the world, fucking Thanos. It's not so you can, it's uh, while you improve yourself, while you improve the world. Improving yourself helps you improve the world. Cause I don't think, I don't think that's controversial. We'll watch this back. In the editing booth and see what's up. Alright, last touch. There's a little bit of the this is just like a dent man you occur. Manacles. Mana flow band. It's just gross. That's just a joke. I would never do something so disgusting. And here's the new distribution of shower soaps. It's the weirdest storage system for showers I've ever seen. Tall, long ass things that are only meant for stacking circular, singular, cylindrical tubs. But it is what it is. Okay. Okay, let's uh view this here. Vinge. Pants. Be better spot for the chair. So then, 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 then. In a perfect world, this this shower curtain gets washed with bleach. The world's a fucked up place, bro. I think instead of cleaning stuff every time we have to clean stuff, we should just cancel germs, dirt and germs. Here's a full bounty. Ugh, gross. This chair need to be here. Try moving it, maybe. Let's try moving it out. It's right in front of a towel hanger. Sweep that up. Back the bag. These in this bag. This can go there, right? Teeth whitening gel. Nice. Sounds expensive. Fancy convenient drawer. <laughs> Seems better. This can maybe go somewhere. It's not being used. One of these. One of these. Ew. <laughs> Let's just move this stuff here. 
so I can clean. This home really needs some Brillo pads. Mick, if you're watching, get some damn Brillo pads. You got rust everywhere. I don't know if you realize, but you live in a tropical area. Yeah. Yeah. See, you should probably get that checked out. That moment when you think something is stained forever, but you push hard enough and grind hard enough and it goes away. This isn't even really dirty, it's just rusting. It's these rust spray, bruh. I think. Bizarre. Mystery stains. Promethean, arguably. One could make the case. Oh, I have one of my favorite things to do is clean the toothbrush charger. I think it's allowed. I think they're, you're allowed to do that. My sister's toothbrush looks like the Halo Oracle. Oh, nice. We've cleared this out, so we clean the full thing. We clear this out, so we clean the full thing and don't drop anything. I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope. Thoughts and prayers, thoughts and prayers. Here we go, here we go. I don't even think this counter's dirty, but we're just doing it for the vine, really. If I do this, will it turn smooth? Here we go, here we go. It's perfect. And my cleaning kit is taken to go, like Starbucks. If Starbucks was an eagle, and we burn them down when we see them, parody, 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 parody. Steamer, daily steamer thing, don't know what it does. Last thing we know to do is clean the mirrors. Okay, I don't think I was recording when I finished cleaning the mirror, but trust me, you don't even wanna look in that thing. You'll get scared. You'll look too clear. You'll say, who's that detailed guy in the, right there? Who is that? And why is he copying me? Okay, so lessons of today's class. I don't know and I don't remember. Comment below or some shit. Bye.